<clears throat> oh, thank you. Thank you. Christmas cold. It's killing me, really. Now, the great thing about doing a chat show is that sometimes you get someone on who is so mega that all you have to say is, ladies and gentlemen, Mel C. to start by going <laughs> Mel, I'm really chuffed, sorry. Ooh! Yeah. That's when you're excited, isn't it? Yeah. Well me and Emily have got one but we got like this. Ooh! It's a bit more dangerous. Actually. Actually. <laughs> Is that what's sorry. flattened your hair out? Could be. It's my secret. Do you really do that? You it shouldn't bang your head like that. Sometimes you'd have to because you're just so excited. I know that feeling though. Yeah, isn't it's it really great though? Yeah, I it's love nice. it. It's nearly Christmas and it's like Ooh! Let's have one together. You do the head, okay. right? And you go to your feet too. Look, if I sit here. Yeah. You ready then? So I'll do it for you. I hope they all joined in with that at home because it's made me feel a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it, I'm really glad you're on the show, by the way. I'm really glad to be here. I'm, I'm right. very chuffed. Me. Shall I call you? Shall I call you Mel or shall I call you Sporty? <laughs> you can call me Melanie. Melanie. That's what I like the best. Oh, I like that because I often think I don't know why they've shortened their names. You and uh, Mel G, the shoes now. It's just it's like it's trendy. I it? think Melanie's a nice name. I'm going to stick with Melanie. Okay. Okay. And they call you Holland as well. They used to call me Holland at school. I was a boys at school. Why was that? Because I've got such a large chest. No, it's because because you know Holland's flat. Oh, I see. That's it. And covered in dykes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not true. That's not true. No. I think that's quite trendy, though, know, because people... I have heard you call... You must know about this. Uh, be called Lesbian Spice. I, I know it's, it's a tag that, you know, comes along with me, but I don't know why. Um, maybe it's because I'm never really with a fella. Aww. But how can that be? I don't know. It's a mystery to me. It, you, you, there must be a bloke. You, you've just got him hidden away, haven't you? Somewhere? No, I haven't got a fella. You haven't got a I boyfriend? Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> See, I waited yeah. so long to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to know. Why not? And it was a woman. Yeah. Yeah. So You're in way. there, you big lesser. <laughs> Anyone's ever called a chat show guest that before in Britain? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> if I'd have had Martin and Avratil over on, I wouldn't have called her that. <laughs> <laughs> I got this thing, I, this was in an interview. It says, My ideal man has to be blah, blah, blah. Now listen, Mel's ideal man. He'll like football and <laughs> having a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> You actually, yes, did you say so you, you <laughs> 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 <How> exciting! <laughs> but you are, I mean, you're now one of the most famous people in the world. People say that to me, but you, you can't, it never sinks in, you know what I mean? You just, I just feel that's because like... you haven't got a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that means that, that the ideal thing, I would have thought, is to go the way that Victoria's gone and get your celebrity boyfriend. No, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, people are people, and when you meet someone, it doesn't matter whether they're a footballer, a pop star, or a plumber. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's them, isn't it? It's not the profession that you're attracted to. But do you get to meet a plumber? <laughs> <laughs> if me bug's, like, gone, yeah? <laughs> do you? I presume someone like Elton John would come and mend it for you. <laughs> He was in my toilet only this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you how famous you are, Melanie Chisholm. <laughs> this, this is how famous you are. <laughs> now that, that is famous, isn't it? Having a dolly yourself. It is, though. Hey, look, look how stiff that is. <laughs> look at your shoes. Oh, yeah. Those are the shoes that come with you in the box. It's going to be that, isn't it? Have you not seen it? Yeah, I've seen it before, but not for a while. 
It's good that you're quite fascinated. <laughs> Not your dinosaur, do you? Ooh. <laughs> Can she do it too? Oh. <laughs> I've got another one. <laughs> <laughs> what she got up? This is a sort of a, you know, sporty tracksuit. Is that like leisure wear? This is like stage wear. Yeah, exactly. This is you relaxing at home, perhaps doing a bit of martial me. arts. Look. Oh, I ought to Is it under the kick? <laughs> no. I love him. They're great. They are great. Been... She got me belly tattoo. Well, funnily enough, she, I was looking at this one, she hasn't got the... She's got the aye, other aye, tattoo. she's an island, is she? Oh, God, you've got the... <laughs> 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 you Do you know, I've been fighting that all week. <laughs> <laughs> but now she hasn't got the belly tattoo. They've got the other tattoos She hasn't on got it. the one on the bum, either. No, I've got one on my bum. I haven't bum. checked. Um, but you have got... <laughs> got can, we, can we see the belly tattoo? Because I, I think that's what good. mine. Yeah. Where we should Can we? It's in here. Oh my God. Hold on, just move there, Angel. That's me. Oh, now that is a me, million to one shot. <laughs> it is because look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm choking now. I'm gonna have a drink of water. <clears throat> I'm not well. Mm. Can you just talk without me for a minute? Uh, what about? Shall Tell me? them about when Madonna found you up. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Madonna found her up. Madonna! <laughs> like that. Whoa. Impressed. Go on. Go on. Tell the story. Did someone say who? <laughs> who? Um, um, why did she phone me up? Because I was in New York and we just finished Because you're tour. a big leather, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I you. Don't start, I know, I know how athletic oh, you can be. No, come on, I, I am interested. Oh, right. I was in New York and we just finished the tour and like, I'm a really big fan of Madonna and I've always like, looked up to her and I really admire her. And uh, I just said I'd really love to work with her. And um, she heard about it and she was interested and so she just called me and said, did you want to come out for dinner? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd be, I'd be more scared than excited, I think. Well, you're just nervous. It's, it's just, it, like, so many things happen to us and have ha happened to us. You just can't believe it. It's like a dream, you know, you're just waiting to wake up. You know what I mean? So you just have to get on with it, otherwise you couldn't handle it. You'd just be like, no way. That is what it's like. It, like, every day, being a Spice Girl, you wake up and it's just like... And that sounds really nasty. No, it sounds but that great, is, I That think. is the God's honest truth. But that's it's great. Because I love being me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cool. I love being a comedian. It's great, you know. But being a Spice Girl... That's oh, wicked. It is, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> now, <coughs> one, I saw you at um, Wembley Arena. When yeah. I say you, I mean uh, the girls. When there was five of you. Yeah. You remember the other one? Yeah. <laughs> I was sorry when... I'll be honest, I know you must get fed up with it, but I, I was sorry when she left. Yeah, so, so were we. Because we really I thought sad. it was the five of them, you know. Was it just the generation gap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely that, because when she left, everyone used to say, so go on, tell us the truth, how old was she? And she, she was 25, but she's 26 now. And it's like, people like think she's 30, yeah, but she's not. 30 odd, I never thought. <laughs> <laughs> but that bit at Wembley, you know when you do Mama, Mama, yeah. then they show pictures of you as kids. Yeah. And there's a picture of you at school and you go, oh, and all that, and you're all cute. And then there's one of her comes up and it's sort of a sepia colour. <laughs> <laughs> With some bloke in a Royal Flying Corps uniform. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, there's something gone wrong here. So, so anyway, it's, it's been really, uh, 98, 97, they've all, it's been so great. What's 99 going to be then for you? <sighs> um, pretty exciting. I think the thing we're most excited about is the two babies coming. Not me, but the other <coughs> two. Um, and solo stuff. I'm working on a solo album. Is it true that Victoria's baby kicked recently and an Argentinian fell over? <laughs> <laughs> No, um, yeah, I'm doing a solo album. Mel G is doing a solo album. Emma's doing a film, and Victoria wants to do some acting too. But that doesn't mean you're splitting up, does it? Oh no, no, not at all. See, I really don't want you to split up. No, we won't. Don't because we? when the song said "Friendship," no, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's true. I like that. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> I, think, I do. I think people really like the Spice Girls, don't they? All the people used to be cynical about it. Now it's it's good, and people um, people love you. 
<laughs> they do. You'll be like Cilla Black when you're 50. You'll be okay. <laughs> you will. That's something to look forward to, no, isn't I think it? I love Cilla Black. <laughs> do you not like Cilla Black? I do, actually. Well, then, don't be so snotty. <laughs> It's been really good. I'm so glad you came. Everyone here was very, very pleased when you came out. Have a brilliant... No-one's bothered, is it? They <laughs> are. <laughs> are you bothered? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Melanie Steve.